Hey guys, so today we are in the Volkswagen Golf Mark 7 with MIP2 based navigation system and I'm going to show you how to estimate what's the correct mileage of the car if you have some doubts, doubts if the mileage over here is correct. So here's a MIP2 infotainment unit, but this will work also, I believe, for the MIP ones. And this is not Volkswagen exclusive, you can also check it in Skoda, Audi, Seat. And so the thing that we are going to do is use diagnostic interface like VCDS or OBD11 in my case. We are going to connect with module 5F, which is the infotainment head unit stored in the glove box in this car. And we are going to check live data. Over here we have a lot of things to select from. We can check status of many systems of the, um, of the infotainment uh, system. We can check what's in the SD card. Uh, as a port, we can check video input status, we can check GPS position and many, many other things that are important in diagnosis. But today we are looking for display, multimedia display unit one, live data. And over here we can see what's, what's the current temperature, what's the maximum temperature measured in the screen, what's the current voltage, if the screen is on, what's the dimming. And also there's operating our counter. And we can see that this display uh, counter is at close to 3000 hours of operation. Okay, so why this is interesting? The thing is uh, that uh, this operating hour counter of the display is basically the same as the operating hours of your engine. Sometimes you have the screen off when you are driving your car, or sometimes you have just the ignition on and engine off. You are listening to radio, so the counter for the radio is going and the engine is off. But basically, we can assume that 3000 hours by this display is the same as the 3000 hours made by the engine. Also, we need to assume that this screen is here in this car from day one. If it uh, was damaged uh, at some time, or maybe this car was equipped with a different system and it was re retrofitted later on, um, we cannot uh, use this method because we will have a different uh, different counter. And, um, it's important to um, to do the, do this measurement, to do this estimation, only if you know for sure that this screen is in this car for. Uh, from day one. Okay, so with this knowledge, when we know how many operating hours this screen has, we can estimate correct mileage of the car. And I have a simple, simple chart over here where we can check operating hours, let's say 3000, and we have we have uh, this span. Uh, it depends how this car was driven. So average speed of 60 kilometers per hour is here. This is a, let's say, mixed scenario. If this car was driven uh, mostly at, uh, on highways, this is uh, 90 kilometers per hour average speed. And if this car would be driven um, exclusively in the city, in the uh, urban conditions, let's say the average speed would be 30 kilometers per, per hour. So this is the span that we are looking for, for the mileage at this uh, operating hours counter. Okay, so at 3000 hours, we should have something like 180,000, something here, if the average speed was about 60 kilometers per hour and it could go as high as uh, 270 if the car was uh, driven exclusively on highways or as low as 100,000 if it was driven exclusively at uh, urban conditions. But those cases are extremes. We should look for something in the middle over here. So 180,000 kilometers. And let's check it over here. And we can see 173, so it's uh, it's about right, I would say. But again, we should remember that this is just an estimation. And uh, of course, we are assuming that this screen was here from day one and it was always on when the engine was on. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and check my other videos about uh, Volkswagen and other cars and see you soon.